Hello, I am Dr. Sangeeta Gomes, Consultant, Obstetrics, Gynecology and Infertility, Bangalore, India. Preconceptional counselling and basic infertility workup is needed for a couple where 30 years female and 35 years male, especially if they are planning to postpone pregnancy. The couple should approach the doctor if not able to conceive within 6 months of regular intercourse of good frequency. Now, factors essential for conception are healthy sperms with good motility, ovulation occurring normally, patent fallopian tubes so that the oocyte can be picked up by the fimbrial end of tube. The endometrium should be receptive for implantation of fertilized egg. The corpus luteum should function adequately. Conception depends upon both male and female factors. Male is directly responsible for infertility in 30 to 40 percent cases, females in about 40 to 55 percent cases. Both are responsible in 10 percent cases, remaining 10 percent remains unexplained. Investigations for the male Detailed medical history of sexual transmitted diseases, mumps, orchitis, diabetes, recurrent upper respiratory tract infection, bronchiectasis, history of inguinal hernia repair, history of testicular surgery, any chemotherapy taken in the childhood, sexual history, erectile dysfunction, social habits like smoking, alcohol or substance abuse. Thorough physical examination is done. Examination of genitalia is also done. Investigations asked for blood investigation with sugar and thyroid. Semen analysis is done after 3 to 4 days of abstinence. The semen is checked for the count, motility, morphology and the presence of fructose. Additional tests like follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, prolactin, testosterone, scrotal scaring and karyotyping is asked for in certain cases. Semen culture sensitivity to look for any infection. Now, the faults in the male can be defective spermatogenesis. Ideally, it takes 72 days for a sperm to form and, and additional 12 to 20 days to travel to epididymis. If there is obstruction of efferent duct, failure to deposit the sperms high in the vagina, absence of fructose and seminal fluid. Now, coming to the causes of female infertility. Ovulation disturbances in 30 to 40 percent cases, tubal diseases in 25 to 35 percent, uterine factors in 10 percent, cervical factors in 5 percent, pelvic endometriosis in 1 to 10 percent. Investigations of female, taking detailed history of tuberculosis, sexually transmitted diseases, pelvic inflammatory disease, diabetes, previous abdominal or pelvic surgery which can cause peritubal adhesions. Menstrual history, whether the period is less or more. History of previous abortions, as this could cause damage to the uterine uh, inner wall or the tubes. Use of intrauterine contraceptive, contraceptive device. Sexual problems like loss of libido and dyspareunia. Then detailed examination of the individual is done, like height, weight, BMI, if there is any ascetism, acne, looking at the secondary sexual characters. Gynec examination is done to look at the vagina, cervix and uterus. Certain blood tests which are asked for are follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, prolactin, thyroid, fasting blood sugar, hemoglobin and anti-mullerian hormone. These are usually done within the first 3 days of period in the fasting state early in the morning. Talking about anti-mullerian hormone, it gives us a clue about ovarian reserve, about how fertile the lady is whether she has time to postpone her pregnancy or she should act quickly and plan her pregnancy. Diagnosis of ovulation is done by various methods like using ovulation kits, basal body temperature method, cervical mucus stretch test, serial follicular scan using ultrasonography to check the size of the follicle and the endometrium thickness. Diagnosing tubal problem is done by a test called hysterosalpingography or sonohistrosalpingography Laparoscopy and chromotubation also can be done to look at the tubal problems and other pathologies. For uterine problems, hysteroscopy can be done. It's a procedure where we, we introduce a camera into the uterus and we visualize to look if there is any fibroids, is there any polyp, septum or any adhesions.